This is Jimmy Porter, who learned at an early age what it was like to be angry. Angry and helpless. Get out of my sight! If only something, something would happen to waken you from your beauty sleep. If you could have a child, then it would die. Let it grow. Let a recognizable human face emerge from this, this little mass of India rubber and wrinkles. If only I could see you face that. Jimmy Porter, who lives and loves with an intensity altogether frightening. It's hardly a moment when I'm not watching and wanting you. Nearly two years of being in the same room with you and I still can't stop my sweat breaking out and I see you doing something as ordinary as leaning over an ironing board. Wherever John Osborne's play has been seen, audience reaction has been swift and startling. So much to shock people. The black hatred, the hurt, and the anger. For your own sake, don't ever do that again. I have no public school scruples about hitting girls. If you slap my face, by God, I lay you out. Come out of it quick, eh? Now the play has been filmed and emerges as an exciting and challenging motion picture. The biting shock of the dialogue. Rev it up, will you? Stop ringing those bells. The virile, natural humor. Reveal Jimmy Porter as an arresting and provocative person. You'll want a shield from his anger, Allison, the girl he never forgives for being born into a society beyond his reach. You'll want to tear apart Helena, the friend who is a Jezebel. You'll understand Jimmy's love for poor old Ma Tanner. And you'll know why Cliff, who lives with the Porters, is powerless to leave them. I don't think I want anything more to do with love. Not anymore. I can't take it on. Yeah. You're too young to start giving up. Too young and too lovely. Huh. It's no good fooling about with love, you know. If you can't bear the thought of messing up your nice, tidy soul, you'd better give up the whole idea of life and become a saint. Because you'll never make it as a human being. <laughs> 